Hi, this is Michael, VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia. And I've got another D-Star slash Raspberry Pi slash IRC DDB Gateway video for you. And uh, once again in front of you, you see the, uh, my Raspberry Pi and the DVAP dongle. Um, you would have seen this possibly in one of my earlier videos. And I've been using this uh, quite successfully as a very, very, very simple D-Star hotspot. And uh, instead of this blue network cable going off to an ADSL router, it's now going very short distance to a Microtik RB751U. This is a, uh, uh, a small router. And the U stands for USB. It's got a USB uh, 3G stick stuck in the side of it. Um, this is running Router OS. And I'm not sure if uh, many of you are familiar with the Microtik uh, Router OS system. An incredibly powerful and flexible um, router operating system. Um, not overly easy to configure. Took a bit of a learning curve to get uh, get my head around how it all works. I'm using a, a smaller version of this um, same router as my main ADSL connection for all my ham radio gear. Um, I've got this configured up to do a PPP connection through the 3G USB stick. Um, it's got a DHCP server built in. It's got a one watt wireless access point built into this as well. So other devices can use the network connection. Plus I can also plug in directly into the Ethernet sockets on the front as well. So this hopefully will provide my portable internet connection in my uh, transportable hotspot. So what I'll do now is I'll, I'll power it all up. It takes about 25 seconds or 30 seconds to, uh, to come live. I'll just plug the power in over here. And we've got things happening. Got LEDs on the router. Let's see, we should have a flashing LED on the stick. Very good. Uh, Ethernet lights are on on the Raspberry Pi, which means the uh, Ethernet ports up. When the software boots up, we should see the green pulsing LED go to a flashing blue, which means the communications is happening between the access point, the DV access point, and the Raspberry Pi software, which it looks like it's doing it now. Very good. And over here, we should see a light blue LED, which means the network connection is active. When it's not active, it'll fall back through to a dark blue LED. That might do that for me if I just hang around a little bit longer. But it may be busy doing something, so uh, it may not. Anyway. There we go, that's the dark blue colour. Hopefully you can see that. What I'll do now is I'll try and link this up using this uh, wireless internet connection. Now normally I would try and demonstrate this by connecting up to VK5REX module B directly, but for some reason I can't make it do a D plus link directly to my gateway. So what I've done, I've linked VK5REX B through to Reflector 23 Alpha. And uh, what I'll do is I'll issue, issue a link command to the software running on the Raspberry Pi to also link to Reflector 23 Alpha and we'll see what happens. Um, we're listening to the local D-Star gateway on the ID31 and I'm using an, an IC91 AD on Simplex again into the DVAP. And now this is ready to go with a link command for a Reflector 23 so hopefully we'll just uh, key it up and we should hopefully hear. Link two R E S zero two three alpha. So it's told me it's linked. I'll go back to CQ CQ CQ, and when I speak into here, the DVAP dongle will receive it. It'll go through the gateway software, through the internet connection, and then onto Reflector Twenty Three Alpha. Then back out from that through to VK Five REX Module B. And hopefully, my voice will come out of the ID31. This is VK5ZE. VK5 ZDA testing. ZDA testing. The echo and the delay, echo gets, me and every delay time. gets me every time. OK, so that's working. Excellent. Now what we'll do is we'll go the other way. I'll put that radio down and pick this one up. Hmm. It tried to link again for some reason anyway. We'll see what happens here. This is VK5ZE testing. Oh, I think we've got some network congestion. Link 
This time of the night, it's just gone 8.30. The 3G connection will be very, very congested, so we'll... Uh, this is VK5ZEO testing. This is VK5ZEO testing. Yeah, a little bit of latency there. Yeah, a little bit of latency there. It's not too bad. So it does work, and um, the overall success of this will be the 3G connection. And uh, like I said, this time of the night, um, the 3G connection here, I'm using the, uh, the Optus network here in Australia. My ISP uses Optus infrastructure for their 3G network, and it could very well be that um, it's just beginning hammered uh, on a Friday night at 8.30 at night. So um, there's going to be some trouble with that. Uh, we'll just go back the other way again. Hopefully it works. Put that one down. Pick up the radio going into the DVAP. I'll try my luck again and see what happens. This is VK5Z. VK5Z. ZDA testing. ZDA testing. I'm, testing. I'm never going to get used to that. Latency. Latency. Okay, so that's coming, okay, so out, of that's coming out of there. That's fine. That's working that's fine. good. That's working good. Okay. So that's working. Once again, we'll go back the other way. Back into the D-Star repeater and hopefully out through the gateway software running on the Raspberry Pi, through the DVAP, to the handheld radio. This is VK5 ZDA testing. This is VK5 ZDA testing. Okay, that worked better. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. VK5 ZDA testing. VK5 ZDA testing. VK5 okay, so that's working. That's working okay. And uh, so the plan is to get all of this and jam it into a portable box. Now I'm looking really closely at the Pelican case hardware. Uh, they make a nice rugged transportable waterproof box and I should be able to fit all of this in there with a 5 volt regulator to run a uh, even a, maybe a USB hub at the Raspberry Pi. I'm actually thinking of getting a 70 centimeter DVAP as well so I can have two bands in the one box and together with the uh, MicroTik router board providing a network connection. Um, it's going to be a fantastic little transportable D-Star hotspot uh, that'll keep me uh, connected as long as I've got a 3G connection. And now the good thing about having, I was thinking about putting this directly on the Raspberry Pi and handling the connection in the Raspberry Pi, but then I thought this makes it a lot easier. If I'm actually somewhere where I can have access to an Ethernet based net, uh, internet connection, I can just quickly unplug from there plug a cable in and use whatever connection through their net router uh, to get to the internet that way without having to reconfigure anything in the, in the Raspberry Pi. It should be fairly seamless. And this is handy as well because I can use this connection for other devices, be it my, my phone or a laptop or, or, an, or an iPad or whatever, uh, using the built-in Wi-Fi access point in there as well. Um, so that's about it for now. Uh, we can see the network connection is still active, light blue. And I'll try my luck one more time, one more test. Here we go. I'll pick up the, uh, go through the DVAP and back out to the to the local uh, D-Star gateway. VK5, VK5 ZDA testing. testing. One, two, three, four, one, five. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's working fine. Excellent. Well, this is Michael, VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give me an email or catch me on the air. And uh, hopefully we can uh, get your Raspberry Pi up and running on D-Star as well. Seven threes for now, and I'll talk to you again soon.